Hello my junk journal friends, uh, this is Jackie speaking. Um, I apologise for my voice, it's a bit more nasally than usual because I have a cold. It's also extremely cold here in the UK so I'm just going to show you the outside. That's quite unusual for the 1st of March over here. It's freezing as well. I hope that didn't make you dizzy. Um, anyway, this is my uh, uh, an Alice in Wonderland uh, junk journal, carpet bagger style, which is a Nick the Booksmith class, my version of it. Um, this is for a swap, uh, sorry, I don't know if I already said that. Anyway, um, I'll just get on with it. It's a single signature um, swap and mine is roughly uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Um, I do love how this turned out. I wasn't sure really when I was making it. I've used um, some printouts from Auntie May's. Thank you Andrea. Um, they're great and just to uh, point out the back is got or the spine has got um, as you can see some bows and ribbons and I've made a charm. Uh, there's a little um, cameo here which sort of ties in with this picture and then there's various bits and bobs on there including a drink me bottle, cup and saucer, um, I think there's a lock and a key and a heart and I've used dyed seam binding for this closure. Okay this um, chain is glued down, I was going to leave it loose but it, it didn't seem to work that well so I have just anchored it in a couple of places apart from this bit and we've got the cat, the teapot and a slice of cake. So inside I've made a pocket and some little um, flag embellishments. There's various fabric collages throughout and some tags that I've made. Um, this paper is from packaging from one of the Tim Holtz, no, uh, Graphic 45 paper pads. This is Auntie May's. Um, this also is Auntie May's, but I've just cut it apart to make a side pocket there. I've used tea dyed paper and we've got some doily prints that have turned out. This is nothing directly to do with Alice in Wonderland, but I liked the In Spite of Herself. This is from a vintage um, book, uh, 1892, I think. Um, well, I thought that sort of summed up Alice. Uh, we've got some Auntie May's pockets and some large tags. These are all backed onto um, Auntie May's paper or coffee dyed paper. I think there's four of these throughout the book. Lots of space for writing, which was a requirement of the swap. And a few journal cards also made out of the Auntie Mays. This is a little belly band, so you could slot something in there if you wanted to. Use some ledger paper. Fabric. Um, tried to mix this up. Alice, obviously, the whole story is quite mixed up, so I tried to make it slightly crazy. Another pocket with a tag. Um, the centre of the signature has these uh, little hearts. I don't know why I've used black, but it seemed like that's what it needed to me, not red. <laughs> anyway, you can change those if you don't like them black. Um, whoever, whoever gets this book. So as you can see, there is lots of writing space. I do really quite like my journals to be usable um, and tend to leave plenty of writing space or spaces to put your pictures. These can be used as tuck spots. This is Auntie May's a sheet cut down. That's the other side of that book and the final tag. This paper is, um, I think it was called Mad Tea Party, maybe. 
and it was a Marion Smith collection. I'm not sure that's available anymore, but um, this was my last sheet of it. It's the final journaling card there. And the inside cover is also fabric, the same as the outside. So that's my Alice journal. I hope whoever swaps with me enjoys that. And thank you for listening. Sorry about the voice and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.